Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz and in today's video we are going to learn something really amazing. In my previous video I have showed that how can we make the grand total in the pivot table to move it to the left. And today we are going to do that entire stuff dynamic because after that video I got a very good response from all of you and most of you have asked me Faraz that how can we have a dynamic solution for this one. So that the users don't need to worry, they don't need to tease with the data set and uh, so today we are here with this let's go dive in and build the solution together now to build that solution exactly what we have created over here uh, where we have the rows and we have the columns of the countries over here so all we just need to do is first convert this data into an excel table so we will be just going into insert and converting it as a table yes my table has headers and not now and we will call this as tbl uh, my data set cool so once you have your data into table let's go to data and get data from table slash range so we are going to use the help of the power query editor and i have kept the data set very small so you can easily understand what is happening so we have loaded our data set and i'm just going to make a reference of this one right now reference and i'm going to give the name of my query later on and in this case what we are going to do is a very simple step we're just going to call group by and we are going to do the group by by the product and we are going to call this quantity sold exactly the same way we are going to write it sold and we are going to do the sum operation on the quantity sold perfect and in fact if you like to do the t count and this will go as a sum because it's going to count one 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 so that's the reason we are going to say sum okay so here we have that summarized value so we have that uh, data set summarized value you know so I'll just call this as summarized value SUM so after this we are just going to make a reference of this one this results which is there and we are going to call this as result and with this result what I'll be going to do is I'm going to go to home and I'm going to append the query but before I do the append, all I need to do is I need to go and add another column. And I want to make sure that this is called as grand total. So I hope you got it what I'm trying to do over here. I'm just trying to replicate the same way what we have done it into a manual way. And now this would be entirely dynamic. But the custom column will not help me because when I'll append it, uh, I need to have it under location. So I'm just going to simply copy the location from here and come here and just rename this column as location. Perfect. So this is all the summarized value of laptops under the location area. So let's go home and do the append. And we are going to do the append of my data set, which is here, not the summarized one. The original data set what we have loaded and these are the values over here and let's close and load to and let it be as a connection only perfect because if i load all the tables are going to load it into this workbook which i don't need it now what we will be doing is just select anywhere in the cell just right click over here on the query and load to and in fact loading it as a table and building up the space on your workbook i would just simply say make it as a report of pivot that's it and here we are going to say the products which are over here and the quantity that is sold so we got the sum but now when you do the sum over here you are not hitting with the same number because it is doubling up that quantity sold so let me show you to you what do I mean that let's come to the location into different columns and here we have and let me remove this grand total which is not a part of the care which should not be the part of this calculation right click remove the grand total and this grand total which is there 
we can move it all the way to the left or right side the way we like it so this has been done and now this solution is really dynamic so you don't need to change your source data you don't need to do anything over here like how we have done in the manual solution that we have adjusted over here this simply handles everything so let's say that i got some new data i'm just going to copy this new data and come here and let's go and paste it and paste them as a value in fact and now i'll just simply come here right click and refresh boom everything is in place so i didn't need to do any kind of alteration my power query have handled this in a very beautiful way last but not the least if you want to some explore some more amazing tips and tricks uh, we are going to have a mega event called my data summit uh, myself i'm the organizer with my friend algar who is from azerbaijan we are hosting this event on 5th 6th and 7th of september it will be a jam-packed mega event for three days we are going to talk about excel and power automate and some awesome technologies over there so if you haven't registered for this event make sure that you go and register and you can find the coupon code in the below video description which says f-a-r-e-z dash 10 for us 10 so you can get a 10 percent discount make sure that you don't miss that opportunity because we have a lot of celebrities over there excel celebrities microsoft community managers and we have even the linkedin instructions so make sure that you go and grab your tickets right away so i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video make sure that you hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and i'll be seeing you soon in the next video till then take care happy learning bye